Hey guys, so I've gotten a lot of requests um, about how I use my Bumble and Bumble Brown hair powder to conceal some of the loss. And I thought I would do a video um, for you guys about it today, but confession. So for those of you that follow my blog, you know that I haven't used this in a year, almost a year exactly. Um, I started wearing hair when my son was born and he's almost a year, he'll be a year this week. Um, so it's been a year of wearing hair. So it's been a long time since I used this product. I still love it, I still swear by it, but me doing this demonstration is gonna be a little bit like I'm a newbie again because it's been such a long time. So I hope it actually still sprays. <laughs> that would be helpful. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so I will show you how I used to do this. Hopefully it still um, comes out okay, and hopefully it's something that you guys can use to help, um, you know, help with your hair loss a little bit. So first things first, and sorry, I haven't quite gotten the hang of looking at the camera versus looking in the mirror. One of these days I'll get there. Um, so I'm gonna be switching back and forth. But the first thing I do, so know that I typically part my hair, this is freshly washed, um, and not parted well. So typically, this is about where I would part my hair. So a deeper or deep-ish side part. Um, the reason being is because that tends to help conceal the loss um, better than like, of course, a middle part or something like that. So I always do the side part. Um, when using the Bumble and Bumble, though, I typically start on an angle, I think, I'm thinking back. Um, yes. So I first take a diagonal part all the way over um, from where my normal part is. So that's pretty much all the way over to the other side. It has been so long since I've done this. It's, it almost feels foreign. Um, give your bottle a little shake, not too much, and use little partial spritzes to get it onto the scalp. So you don't want to hold it and spray really hard. You just want to do little like half spritzes to get it there because it can come out kind of heavy, um, especially if you're not used to how it works. So put your little hand here to block some of the overspray because it can get a little messy. Okay. You can see it got on my hand washes right off, but it's kind of a pain. Um, I like the way that covered. That's a little bit better. It needs to be sprayed a couple times, I think. Um, it's, it's definitely been a while. Okay, so I work my way. Yeah, see it kind of got spray all over. That's all right. Easily remedied. So as I get closer to my part here, this is where you want to be a little bit more precise with the spray. So I'm saving this hair here. When I'm done, this is going to go this way, but I'm flipping it over to the other side because I want it to cover where I'm spraying. Actually, probably use a little bit more up here in the front. I'm gonna use my use my finger to kind of protect my scalp there. Sometimes I do take a little bit on this side here, even though my part is on the other side, just to help it look same. Let's get a little bit of um, oomph there, if you will, because it does add a little bit of volume. And for the most part, that 
is my finished look. Um, it's totally not the best. I have to rinse some of this off. Let me show you. It's on my fingers. It does come right off. So you'll see here, sometimes you do get a little bit of overspray. Um, I used to actually never have this problem. Um, it's because I'm so out of practice. Um, but if you just take a little cotton ball with some water or some toner or just whatever you have and um, wipe it off, it comes right off. So this is what I used to do um, every single day. So my hair loss has gotten worse since I stopped using this. So I had my baby, I lost a ton of hair when I had the postpartum shed. So it's now just coming back. You can see it all in here. These little short things are all regrowth. Um, I can almost do little jam Brady curls here on the side, which is really attractive. Um, but so I used to do this every day. So I, used, I was really good at it. And there's a little bit of a learning curve, but it's totally worth it once you master it. So I hope you see how this spray can help to conceal some of those bald spots. Um, and as long as you have, like how I showed you, as long as you have some hair to pull over where you sprayed, it actually looks pretty natural. Um, my hair would look 10 times better if it was dyed, if it was cut, if I had highlights. Um, so, in its natural form right now, um, combined with the concealing powder, it makes a big difference. But, you know, if my hair, if my hair was meant to be seen, which now it's not, um, it would make an even bigger difference. So, I hope that helps. I hope you see how easy it is to really conceal some of that loss if you're having some of these issues. So, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope that helps. Again, this is Bumble and Bumble Hair Powder, and the color I have is brown. Okay, see you guys.